And it is big like Ong Long here for week fucking 13. You need to get excited. You need to get pumped. You need to feel the soccer world versus the DBC squad, motherfuckers. And it's Raj. I'm drunk as shit. Ready to call this week 13 game as soccer world is going to return the ball because they're badass motherfuckers led by Juan, the Argentina assassin. He is the greatest international superstar in TFO history. He's the only international superstar in TFO history. But I don't give a shit about any of that. I give a shit that it's Juan and he is fucking... You, you are beyond awesome. And so is the messy man who's in his name. Or, ooh, ooh, could have been a safety there. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. And now the messy has to take it out of the end zone and he's running because he's fucking messy. Look at him go. Look at him. Messy. 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 That's my baby Q. Look at him fucking clotheslining bitches. Taking dragon motherfuckers for the first down. Juan, I appreciate you. Thank you. I don't know much about soccer, to be honest with you. My nephews, they love this shit. The younger generation, they are all over this. Me, I couldn't give two shits about soccer. I really can't. But I'm a pro wrestling fan. That's what I like. That's what I watch. So. Throwing it to the Raditz. Ooh, impressive play for the first down. But soccer, I'm, I love Messi. I love Neymar Jr. And I love the, the, there's a guy on defense. And I'll know his name when I see it. I just can't think of it right now. But uh, he is a bad-ass motherfucker. I know that much. So once I see it, I'll, I'll, I'll let you. But there's the Messi. Ooh, Dragon. Almost getting the first down. Third and two. This is a big third down. We'll see it. Oh, I thought there was going to be a handoff. They fake it. They're throwing it. Oh, block. Incompleto, as Juan would say. And now he's got to kick the field goal. Well, probably the best kicker in the league because Soccer World likes to spend a lot of money on the point. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He blocked the kick. Wow. What a block by Raditz. He picks it up. He drags it to almost the 30-yard line. And now the DBZ squad GT takes over and they are in an uphill oh look at that look at krillin what crispness what amazingness from the bald-headed one himself so what i was gonna say there when krillin interrupted me with that awesome play is they're down a guy ssj vegeta is not in there tonight the wide receiver one so dbz squad gonna have to make up with it using krillin a little bit more and there is the krillin Ooh, trying to stretch six yards away from a first down. Krillin, nope, not being able to get it. They're in field goal range. I'd go for it here as well. Soccer World got to be thinking about repaying DBZ for the block field goal from earlier. And oh my God! Holy shit, motherfuckers! Soccer World saying fuck you. Bitches. We don't care if you got the dragon balls. We got the real balls with the messy man. Look at Messi go. What an amazing you know, I see messy stuff all the time now. And it's cause of you, Juan. It's cause of you. I wouldn't know shit about the messy man. But messy man to me, legend. Oh, and there's the Namer Jr. He's one of my favorites too. Look at him diving for it. I think he's Junior Namer this year. But Juan, I'll count that as the same guy. I want I want you to know that. I, I love I love soccer work. There, the, you know, then there's the messy look at go. Soccer World's only four and seven, though. They are four games back from the Vroom Vrooms. But they're only one game back from the Space Jam, so they really need to start scoring wins, scoring victories, and uh, positioning themselves for a potential wild card position here. While DBZ Squad is the opposite, they're seven and four. They're two games behind the amazing Adult Swim. But uh, the no punt intended is 2-9, and nine, so they don't got to worry about it. And, I mean, honestly, DBZ, they pick up one or two more wins. I think they'll clinch the, you know, wild card positioning. Because right now, they are the best wild card in the Mad Dog at seven wins. Where the nearest is Space Jam with five. So, they're two games up. Speaking about being up, look at, look at Messi. And it off to Namer. Doing the statue. Literally play to Rolando. Oh! Interception. I thought it was going to be a touchdown there. That was a bad, horrible, shitty, sucky play for the soccer world to be doing. Executing at that moment in life, in time. Krillin getting thrown the ball, but he just can't make it there. 
Suck it! And ten. So handing it off to Krillin. Krillin looking great, looking amazing. He's over the 40. He's almost, he's at the 30. He's, at the 30. he's running so fast, he's making some bubble noises. What a pass to Bulba. Oh my God, Bulba. I love her with her little short blue hair. Oh, she's so sexy. Goku knows how to tap it, motherfucker. First and seven here. Soccer World looking to use their defense. They stopped Krillin. He got a little over, though, so Krillin knows how to do it. Second and whatever. Handing off to Krillin because that's their best chance. Soccer World, stop it! Ready, Third and two. Hand off. Oh! Wow, that was a close, close touchdown for the human Krillin as he uses that super attack that he has that makes the disc that cuts through shit. Fucking badass right there. Oh, soccer world all in his face. But a uh, field goal is successful. And that means that DBZ now leads this game 7 2 Nothing here in Week 13 Soccer World versus the DBZ Squad GT. To me, if you ask my fucking opinion here, and it is my opinion, motherfuckers, Soccer World needs to win this matchup. They need to stay competitive in the mad whatever division that they're fucking in right now. And they need the mad mad... I'm hearing in my ear. Thank you. Thank you, Troy, from the, from the radio booth. He's telling me they're in the Mad Max crackle. But they're one game down from Space Jam. They are three games down from the DBZ squad. They need to be contending for one of these wild card spots. So getting DBZ a loss and getting a victory here would elevate them, would catapult them, would create a tsunami. But they can't complete a pass. Second and ten. Just give it to fucking Messi. That's what I paid for. There it is. Oh, they rushed. They rushed. That sucks. I'm sorry. I love Soccer World. I do. I, you know, I feel bad for them this season. I think their record doesn't really reflect how good they are. I think they've been great. Look at that. Look, Dr. Brief just getting in there. He didn't bite on the fake run. They're going to have to punt the ball. I don't feel Soccer World has been bad at all. Messi has been just... M Messi has been the team. I think maybe that's that's the problem. He's going to break records in some capacity, shape, or form as far as I'm concerned. It may be like carries because he carries that ball probably more than any other running back I've ever seen in my life. He has already broken the game because when I look at the max mad leading rushers, the mad leading rushers, Messi's number one with 255 carries. No, but the nearest person is 242. And, and just so we're clear, the 255, that's what maxes out. So I have to run an algorithm to find out the real number of attempts that he has attempted. He has broken the game. That's how amazing it is. And there's Krillin. You take nothing away from Krillin getting down to the 10 yard line. He has carried the ball 239 times this season. So he is almost there. He's probably going to break the game before the season's over because we're only at week 13. And he's already carried the ball coming into this week at least. 2,488 yards. So he's already over the 2,500 mark. He had 29 touchdowns coming into this week. But Messi, Messi had 30. So Messi here in the second half really needs to pick it up. He needs to treat these DBZ squad like a rag doll. He needs to bitch slap these. Oh my god, look at Ong Long just fucking them up. Man, that pig, you need to roast him. Oh, he did get roasted. He got roasted, motherfuckers. Soccer World pissed off, injuring one of the DBZ. Ooh, Master Roshi coming in. I, I'm a big, I'm a big Master Roshi fan, motherfuckers. So, so that's that's some badass shit right there. But Krillin gonna do most of the work there, trying to get a couple yards. Got two. DBZ squad comes into this week with the mad leading offense with, or I'm sorry, mad leading defense with only being having 2,500 yards put against them. So I think that's the soccer world facing here today. That's why they've had zero points here. And man, DBZ squad scoring more, taking them up by 14. DBZ squad only has the 10th best offense in the league. 
Uh, they have only 700 pass yards, not a lot. Oh man, that's horrendous, but they have over 2,800. Oh, it got blocked! It got blocked. There were 2,800 rushing yards, which is, which is pretty badass. So. Where Soccer World, on the other hand, they are uh, right above them, actually, at number 8 with 2,700 yards about. But, and they don't have a lot of pass yards either. These are run team guys. Run versus run. There's the messy. I mean, and I think that's why their defenses work so well against each other too. Because, I mean, ultimately you're calling run plays. And so when the defense calls run plays as well, I think that causes a situation where there's more rushes and more blockage. So, these teams really need to pull out the best pass game as far as I'm concerned to really get an elevation above the other. Messi there, getting the first and a little bit more. There we go. There we go, Messi. Come on, get in that end zone, baby. Get in that end zone. Touchdown! Messi, man! Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Putting the soccer world right back into this game. That is what they needed. They, that's what they deserve. Oh, woo! Almost missing that field goal. They need to get one of them at least because uh, they need to at least be tied with this this very competitive DBZ squad. Seth, I can't talk better about Seth. I met him through Brian. His first season was just total shit, to be honest. But that's the way a rookie season should be because he got knocked on his ass and he looked at the game and he learned what he needed to do. And this DBZ squad... The DBZ Squad GT this season, motherfuckers. He has really put a lot of heart and soul into it, and I really think that they are a contender here at TFO. Uh, I don't know if they can win the division. That Adult Swim is a special team, so uh, I, I think they need to play the underdog role a little bit. But I think Seth is uh, very happy with that underdog role. Uh, fourth and 34 really points out an underdog role, but at least he's ahead by six, so get rid of that fucking ball as best as you can. And hope your DBZ defense, led by guys like Napa and Broly, are able to go in there and make shit happen. Because you don't want the messy man scoring on you, DBZ. You don't want it happening because the messy man is the man. And it's Rolando to the messy man. Messi just runs into a fucking Super Saiyan. He doesn't give two shits. Messi man is Super Saiyan. He will fucking run through you, motherfuckers. He does not care. One goddamn motherfucking iota. I Ota. And that's why that pass failed, because it wasn't fucking to the messy man. God damn it, Rolando, get on it. There we go, hand it to the messy man. Get messy, go, oh, he dodges one, dodges two, gets the first. Exactly what he needs to. Maybe he doesn't have the best uh, yards per average, because he doesn't. But he has consistency, he has carries, he's able to ram that ball down your throat over and 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 over again. Because he's a messy man, and you can't mess with the motherfucking messy man. We all know, we don't even know shit about soccer, I have no shit about soccer. My nephew love it, that's all I talk about. But messy man, I see messy posts. I see messy man faces. I see people rooting for the messy man in the world. And so I got to support him. I got to get behind the messy man. Oh, but DBZ squad not behind the messy man as they get in there. So it looks like Soccer World going to bring out their world-renowned kicker. Probably best kicker in TFO. He got one blocked earlier. So let's see what he can... Ooh, ooh, almost, almost. And, 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 and. Oh, he got donged. D squad retaining the ball at about the 30. They got a little ways to go, but when you got Krillin on your side, I'll say the Soccer World defense has really been able to contain Krillin here today. I'm impressed with how Soccer World, Gruzman, that's the guy I was trying to think of earlier. Gruzman is my dude on the defense. He has been fucking it up. Uh, Gruzman has just been an impressive specimen on the DBZ squad this season, so I'm, I'm happy and impressed by his stature. He's not been really a factor here today as Krillin gets the first down. So I'm hoping, Gruzman, give me a sack or something. I love you, man. I want to see you a little bit. I want to see you right now. Right now. Oh, it was a run. You don't get a lot of sacks with the runners. That, that sucks. So. Second and 12. Hand off to Krillin. Look, look, the deep. Oh, it was a fake one. It was fake. Gruzman, there he is. That's what I wanted. That's what I asked for. Look at him. He heard me. He heard me and was able to sack Goku right into the fucking dirt. Bringing up a huge third down, pitching the ball just to Yamcha, who sucks total dick. So, they're going to punt the ball away. So, this is the opening that the messy man needed. This is what Juan's been waiting for all day. 
even watching this game, going, I'm better than the DBZ squad. I can beat the DBZ squad. He needs to show it here right now with Mueller returning this punt. Ooh, Mueller get Ooh, Mueller. Ooh, man. Oh, bullshit. Android 18. Oh, look at her go. Look at her go. Can she do it? Touchdown. Off the fumble. ZBZ squad. Cheaping it up there. Hitting. Fucking poor Mueller low. And they, they get in a fumble and a touchdown. Just. It is what it is. ZBZ squad showing why they're one of the most dominant forces in the MAD today. You know, there's a lot of teams that get a lot of, you know, hype and publicity and love. And I'm talking about you zero fucks given. I'm talking about you, you know, dimensional defenders and adult swimmers and vroom vrooms even. And the video game fixes, you know, and the beer gods. Y'all think you're badass motherfuckers. But don't you forget about the DBZ squad GT. You know what? Krillin has been killing it. They're a force to be reckoned with. I think they can beat any of the best TFO teams on any day. And they're doing it here today. Soccer World, I think, is one of the best teams the Mad has to offer. They had some bad luck this season. Some of the plays haven't gone the way they want. I, I really think they're better than their record shows. But it is what it is. I hope Juan takes it in stride. He made the playoffs in his first season. So I think that he has a lot more to offer us in TFO. So... You know, I, I always root for the soccer world. Like I said, I don't know much about soccer, but I like to uh, root for Juan. You know, the only TFO fan to become an owner. You know, he elevated him. And how many of those TFO owners are we going to get now? Now that Facebook is blocking all of us. You know what I mean? Fourth down. Big fourth down. And it's the Messi, man. Messi. Oh, getting the first. Stretching over. Trying to keep this alive. They are down by 13 points. So what needs to happen here is they need to score quick and then get an onside kick. It is not impossible. Well, if, if plays like that happen like that, it is impossible. But it is possible for the DBZ squad to lose this matchup. Soccer World really needs to find their stride here. And, and miss passes and sacks. and yeah, I mean, it's third and 15. It is not looking good for Juan in the DBZ squad. There is the flea flicker. Hitching it out to the open guy. Gonna get the first from Suarez. But it's 38-37. It's clocking down. You need to score now, Juan. Stop waiting. Pull the trigger. Kill switch. Engage. And he gets it to the messy man for five. With 17 yards. 17 uh, time point measurements remaining. And there's Broly getting a sack. Just rubbing it in as the DBZ squad is celebrating on the sidelines. Oh, there's the flea flicker. Rolando looking around, but another sack. Mr. Popo. Why is he not black? Why was he a white dude? Why was Mr. Popo a white dude? Somebody, somebody fucking tell me. And Seth, Seth, you need to, you need to fucking answer that. You need to, you need to tell us on the TFO boards why the hell Mr. Popo is white. Because that is a glaring mistake. And that should be punishable by whooping, boy. So, but but the story here today is the GBZ squad GT winning a big matchup here, 20 to seven. So that's a big win because they're two games back from the Adult Swim. So if Adult Swim has a bad game this week, GBZ GT might be striding for that division championship. Juan, I love you, man, but that puts you at what four and eight, man. You need to. You need to reflect on this season, man, and I think you will. You, you did really good on your first season. You made the playoffs. You didn't know much what you were doing. I think this season maybe you knew a little too much. You know what I mean? But I don't think any of us are going to say that you built a bad team this season, man. You built a good team. It's just today the GBZ. The Russian running is just insane this season. We're going to have to do something about that. Both these squads running team. 243 yards for Messi. 188 for Krillin. I mean, ultimately, it looks like Soccer World just defeated the squad GT in offense. They just couldn't do it in defense. And they couldn't score when it mattered. And that's what mattered here today, live on Thursday. Alright. That's it. I appreciate it. I love you. And we will see you next time.